Boom! Oh, did I scare you guys? Did I scare you guys? <laughs> My name is Mr. Joe Biden, alright? So, and welcome to 1954 Golden Valley, and we're in the forest area, so... And I'm going to be scaring some children, alright? So, and by the way, I'm driving the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Speedster, one of amazing classic car. And get ready, man. Get ready, kids. I'm going to scare you and kidnap you guys, alright? So, be ready, alright? <laughs> <laughs> alright, so in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the BMW M5 competition. So, yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, like the video, and turn on the case so you won't miss any of my detaining content. So, yeah, without further ado, Let's get into this video, boys and girls. And also, don't forget to buy my merch. The FT Halloween merch is going to be up still on November 1st, so be sure to buy it right now. And let's get straight into this video. Alright, so I'm on the dealership right now, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the BMW M5 competition. So I believe it's around down here. Okay, so the name in Roblox Drive 4 is Pony S5, as known the BMW M5 competition. And the price is $142,500 and the weight is 4,112 pounds, 625 horsepower and 279 miles per hour. So that's the mass top speed. And let's spawn it. Alright, so there he is. So BMW M5 competition as known the Pony S5 in Roblox drive form. The detail pretty clean. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And yeah, the best part is the grill because I like the original grill, not the big grill, bro. That's so bad, bro. But I love this one. Uh, four seaters. Wait, actually five seater, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. It's not bad. So here we go. The startup. Ooh. Okay, that is definitely the best sound. Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy crap. So yes, horsepower. As you guys know, is six hundred and twenty-five horsepower. Yes. But the sound is amazing. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> All right, starting right here in three, two, one, and go, go, go. Okay, pretty quick acceleration. Okay, not bad. 160 miles per hour. Okay, still going, man. But this thing is actually pretty good. And the max top speed is 279 miles per hour. Y'all know that, all right? So let's see if we can hit 279 miles per hour. Okay, we did over hit 279 miles per hour. So fully boost. Okay, we can hit 300 miles per hour with fully boots on. All right, all right. So the handling is obviously pretty good because it's fully stock. So now let's fully upgrade with this car. Engines, engine swipe. We're gonna put V12 engines because why not? Piston, raise piston, crank, raise crank, exhaust, raise exhaust, aspirations, raise turbo, intake, raise intake, clutch, raise clutch, netrins, raise netrins. Oh yeah. And tires, race tires, of course, brakes, race brakes. Oh, yeah, so does this car body kit? Surely it will. All right, look at this body kit. Base sword, what is that? Oh, what the heck is the... <laughs> custom, okay, uh... Why the custom? I don't get this, bro. Why? Okay, oh, oh. All right, base sword, I don't know why it... I don't know why it looked like that, but... Anyways, we're gonna purchase that, yeah. So we're gonna be customizing, all right? Don't worry about that. Uh, we are Fender, we already have it. Oh wait, actually no, we are Fender. We're gonna put custom, right? To make it look nicer or a base or... Yeah, custom, yeah, custom, custom. Hood, uh, we're gonna put custom, yeah. Rear bumper, custom, yeah, for sure, I guess, right? Where's the rear bumper? Oh wait, oh, it's right there. Okay, never mind. Uh, the future, we don't need that. Front fender, custom, for sure. To make it nicer, of course. Yeah, we need that. I don't know about that because... Oh, wait, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Front bumper. Uh, base shore, of course. Front mine. We don't need that. Skirt. Uh, I'm gonna put base shore. We're fine. Spoiler. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we can put the base shore if I can. Or custom, actually. Base shore, custom. I, I don't see any differences here, bro. Okay, um... Chest and weight. Okay, I don't think there's nothing new over here, but, um... Yeah, license plate. We're gonna put competition. Hopefully, no... Okay, yeah, um, just gonna put M5 just to know that this is the BMW M5 competition. So yeah, enter that and there we go. Alright, so for the visual and the gearbox, this might take some time. Alright, so I did the gear tuning setup on the BMW M5 competition and this car is actually pretty decent. So let me go to the gearbox and for the swipe gearbox, I recommend for you guys to use 9-speed because it can actually hit 
390 miles per hour but sometimes it can hit 400 miles per hour if you use the speed path so yeah um i'm gonna screenshot this punch up the screen so that way you guys can copy and paste it and yeah let me apply this and let's drive this thing of course y'all oh, it's v12 engine all right so the horsepower is 1303 horsepower all right not bad so pretty good number of horsepower on this bmw m5 competition so yeah starting right here in three two one and go very quick acceleration already at um 150 170 miles per hour it's gonna hit 200 miles per hour there we go pretty good all right so and the max top speed is around like 355 miles per hour so yeah pretty good so now let's go fully acceleration to get the highest top speed like 400 miles per hour so let's go all right here we go down the hill let's go fully boost and 402 miles per hour there we go the handily Oh, it just dripped. It just dripped. Okay, yeah, definitely break and turn, bro. Definitely. Yep, yep, yep. It just dripped. Okay. <laughs> that was the longest drift I ever had. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Speed pad. And come on. Three, two, one. Fully boost. Let's go. Come on. And boom. 401 miles per hour, which is hittable. So that's pretty good. Yeah, this BMW M5 competition is actually pretty good. And the body kit, pretty nice. And hopefully they will add more body kit on this BMW M5 competition. Like, literally, dude. It's only two body kit, which is kind of suck. Plus, so we need more body kit on this BMW M5 competition. So let me know in the comment section below. And show you guys bite this. Well, honestly, I would say um, it's depending on your choice. So I would say it's pretty good. But not really good for racing. So it's pretty good looking car though. I actually like the car. I like to drive around with BMW M5 competition. And I'm not going to use it as a race. I'm just going to keep it as a car collection. So yeah. um, Yeah. I would say it's your choice. Anyway. So yeah. um, That's it for the video. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like. Subscribe. And turn on the notification bell. So you won't miss any of my content. So yeah. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.